Today, we're exploring the remarkable journey of Kava, the trailblazing company that has single-handedly reignited the IPO market, sending shockwaves through the financial landscape. Welcome to Behind the Money, where we talk about the most interesting public companies and people. Together, we'll unravel the history of Kava and explore the thrilling implications it holds for future IPOs. I'm your host, Morris Willey. Originally opening as Kava Mazi Grill, then Kava Grill, and finally Kava, it's a full service Greek restaurant first opened in Rockville, Maryland in 2006. Founded by first generation Greek Americans, Kava gained recognition for its authentic flavors and innovative dishes. In 2008, Kava would expand its footprint with a line of dips and spreads to over 200 stores, including Whole Foods Market, under the Kava brand. Throughout this time, Kava began to branch out and expand opening multiple restaurants and sharing that Mediterranean flavor all across America. The company's commitment to innovation earned it a spot on Fast Company's list of the world's 50 most innovative companies in 2018. Additionally in that year, Kava purchased Zoe's Kitchen with more than 250 locations in a deal worth $300 million. Now Kava Group, the parent company of Kava and the recently mentioned Zoe's Kitchens, made headlines in April 2020. When it completed a $190 million Series F funding round led by T. Rowe Price. This funding brought the company's valuation to nearly $1.3 billion. Since 2015, Kava has raised over $640 million, fueling its expansion and growth in the competitive retail industry. On June 15, 2023, Kava made its highly anticipated IPO on the New York Stock Exchange. The company's shares closed at $43.30, valuing the chain at approximately $4.8 billion nearly double its initial pricing of $22 per share. Kava's initial offering price range was $17 to $19 per share, which was later increased to $19 to $20, reflecting strong investor demand. Despite experiencing net losses of $37.4 million in 2021, which widened to $59 million in 2022, Kava demonstrated significant growth in same-store sales. In 2021, the company reported a 14.2 increase in same store sales, followed by an impressive 28.4 increase in the first quarter of 2023. CEO Brett Shulman remains optimistic about Kava's long-term growth potential, emphasizing this, the strong restaurant-level margins that generated $50 million in the first quarter alone. The proceeds from Kava's IPO will be used to open new restaurants and support general corporate purposes. Additionally, the funds will be used to pay back a loan for its Virginia production facility. With 263 restaurants currently in operation, including successful conversions of 145 former Zoe's Kitchen locations, Kava has ambitious plans for more expansion. The company aims to open 34 to 44 new Kava locations and convert 8 more Zoe's Kitchen locations to Kava brands in 2023. Ultimately, Kava's long-term goal is to operate a thousand locations in the United States by 2032, solidifying its position in the Mediterranean fast casual market. Kava's successful IPO comes at a time when the IPO market is showing signs of revival. With 44 IPOs raising $7.3 billion in the U.S. this year so far, the market is on track to surpass last year's numbers. However, it still has a long way to go to reach the record-breaking levels of 2021, when 397 IPOs raised $142.4 billion. The success of Kava's IPO holds significant implications for other companies considering going public. Panera brands, Jin Restaurant Group, and Fogo Di Chao are just a few examples of chains closely watching Kava's performance. The IPO market will gauge investor sentiment towards growth-oriented companies that have yet to turn a profit. While some experts express caution about Kava's evaluation, others see intriguing restaurant-level metrics and growth potential. An indicator of the success of Kava could be putting it against an ETF like the Renaissance IPO ETF that offers exposure to the broader IPO industry. It has outperformed the the S&P 500 delivering a 32% return this year, Kava's IPO could be a catalyst for future growth and investor enthusiasm in the market, potentially reigniting the IPO landscape. 
Time will tell how Kava performs, but one thing's for sure, it's definitely shook up the IPO market this year. Let me know your thoughts on the IPO market and Kava's successful debut to the market. Thank you for watching Behind the Money.